So you've been looking for a new simulation strategy game and you came across War Tales and you're asking yourself right now, is it worth the money and should I pick it up? Well, hopefully I can help you come to a decision in this honest review. In War Tales, you have an option of playing as either the United States Navy or the Imperial Japanese Navy, and it takes place in the Pacific Islands just off the coast of Australia in 1942. If the player picks the United States Navy, his sole goal is to be on the offensive and retake the island of Guadalcanal and the surrounding islands around it, and push back the Imperial Japanese Navy to its home bases. If the player chooses to play as the Imperial Japanese Navy, his sole goal is to defend the island of Guadalcanal and push back the United States Navy offensive. So I have to be honest, I thoroughly enjoy this game. I feel like the devs have done an incredible job with everything that they've implemented in the game. The basic premise when you start the game is you have a series of main bases that you can build certain supplies from. And in those main bases, you have seaports and airstrips, which start at level one, and you can upgrade them all the way to level five through time using supplies, engineering, and fuel. As you upgrade your bases from level 1 all the way up to level 5, you unlock more ships and more planes that you can use on the offensive during your campaign. The way it works when you want to build a new task force is you have a series of command points at the bottom left of the screen, which you acquire through the destruction of enemy naval vessels and aircraft. And you use those points to recruit new ships and new air, which all have a certain command point cost. And once you have your task force set up, you can set it on a course to hunt out other enemy vessels, planes, or set up a supply line to occupied islands or unoccupied islands, working towards capturing those islands and furthering your strength and grip on the war in the Pacific. The overall look of the game once you're inside the tactical view mode is super immersive, the graphics look absolutely incredible, and the attention to detail that the devs put on this game is phenomenal. I can't help but be fully immersed in the battle scenes in this video game and feel my heart race as I push forward to take back the control of the Pacific. Another thing that I really enjoyed about the game is just the sheer amount of ships that you can actually recruit when you're making your task force. It feels like they didn't leave anything out when they were designing this game, because whether you choose the United States Navy or the Imperial Japanese Navy, you have a plethora of ships to choose from, with each one having its own certain traits that are really going to help you in the midst of battle. But what I enjoy most about this game is just the sheer intense of the battles. As I said earlier, you can't help but feel fully immersed, and the satisfaction of sinking an enemy ship is incredibly gratifying. Now as with every game, there are of course things that could be improved, but in this game for me personally, I find it hard to find anything that I would consider game breaking, and there are more so annoyances more than anything. For example, when dealing with a submarine attack and you see the torpedoes coming from a certain angle, I find that all you really have to do is play with the camera setting and tilt the screen up and down against the water and if you do it enough and get it at just the right angle, you can actually see the outline of the submarine where it is in the water, which makes it super easy for you to select your destroyer, turn course to that location, go full steam ahead, and then catch him as he's trying to run away and start dropping depth charges. As I said though, this is in no way, shape, or form game breaking. It's just more of an annoyance because submarines are supposed to be stealthy. And as a player, once I'm struck by torpedoes, I'd like a little bit more of a challenge in actually locating the submarine by having to use my sonar and radar. Another little annoyance I found in the game is when you issue a formation order to your planes and or naval ships and then issue an attack order, I've noticed that on certain occasions, the units tend to stray from their formation, forcing you to have to reselect them and re-click the formation button on a constant basis. But then there are other times where you'll issue the formation order and then issue the attack order and the units will have no problem staying in that formation. It just seems a little inconsistent in my opinion. Like I said, not in any way, shape or form game breaking, just a little annoying. Overall, there isn't much in this game I've come across in terms of bugs, and the ones that I have come across have been super minor, and it's incredibly rare that I do come across them. I honestly have no doubt that the devs will be patching that out really soon, and overall, as I said earlier, I'm incredibly pleased with the progress that this game has been making. So overall, would I recommend this game? 100% yes. If you're somebody who enjoys strategy games and simulation games, this is the best of both worlds because they combine the two to make an awesomely thrilling and satisfying experience. So right now I believe the game is going for about $39.99 on the Steam Store, and in my honest opinion, 
that is more than worth it. For the $40 that I spent on this game, I have had hours upon hours of enjoyment. I feel the devs did a really good job with this game. I'm really pleased with where it's going and really excited to see where the future takes it. So overall, I know this has been a really short review, but I didn't want to give you, the viewer, too much information that would have spoiled anything in the game for you. I just wanted to give you my honest opinion of what I've thought about the game and how much fun I've been having with it and whether or not I would recommend it to someone who thoroughly enjoys strategy games and simulation games because I do again really feel like this is the best of both worlds combined. Anyways everybody I really hope you've enjoyed the video and I certainly hope that this honest review has helped you come to a decision as to whether or not you want to buy and play this game. I really don't think you're going to regret it if you get it and those of you that do buy it in the future I know without a doubt in my mind that you're going to have an absolutely amazing time and a huge amount of fun. Anyways, everybody, I can't thank you all enough for stopping by and watching the video. If you really liked it, please comment down below. Let me know you did. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this coming out soon by me, please consider subscribing. Until then, happy hunting, everybody, and I'll see you guys on the next video.